that laundromat uh, previously they do very good business raymond you don't need to yeah. sell me okay i know what a laundromat can do i know what it can earn yeah. and now you're trying to sell me we, a laundromat can't spend four dollars a square foot it's just it's not reasonable it's not commensurate for a laundry Thank you for calling GE Property. How can I help you? Hi there. My name is Danny. I'm calling for Mr. Raymond. Where are you calling from? Um, Hello, sir. Hi, I'm with Walmart Corporation. Yes, sir. How can I help you? I'm looking to lease some space. And then you are calling from Walmart Corporation, right? No. Where are you calling from? I am a small laundromat operator with 36 stores in California, New Mexico, and Arizona. So when you ask me where I'm calling from, I say Walmart because I'm a little bit insulted. My name is Danny D'Angelo. So how can I help you, sir? So I'd like to rent to lease the, the space, space long term, give you a rent check every month that is reasonable and commensurate for a laundromat spend three or four hundred thousand dollars on washers and dryers and make some money hold on one second please sir oh that's the whole point of this isn't it for me to hold on for fucking raymond who i asked for in the fucking beginning that's why i said i was with fucking walmart trained to ask stupid questions that you don't want the answers to ray hello Hi, this is Raymond. How can I help? Oh, I'm sorry. Raymond, I'm Danny, not Daniel. We talked some time ago and you said, no, nah, we don't want a laundromat there. And then you sent me an email. Yes, you yes. followed up and you said, well, maybe we might. Where's the fucking money, Lebowski? A million bucks from fucking needy little Walter. urban achievers. You are scum, man. Yes, yes. And I left a bunch of messages. Did you ever get my message? Yeah, I got you, all of them. First? I ignored them. I oh, thought okay. it was fun just to ignore you. Okay. No, seriously. I didn't get your messages. They did not receive the money, you nitwit. They did not receive the money. Really? Because uh, you, you left me a message and I... Um, Let's move forward instead of ancient history, shall we? Ray, okay. uh, if the That's rent cool. is reasonable and commensurate and you're not looking to get Neiman Marcus rent out of the laundromat, then maybe we can do something here. So what is your best rate? Well, you got to submit an offer. God. No, I don't got to submit an offer. That's not the way it works. What's your rate of rent, sir? The beauty of this is its simplicity. Once the plan gets too complex, everything can go wrong. Uh, let me see. We do have, a. Um... oh, one second. Is this a clown show going on over there? Life uh, does not stop and start you know, at your convenience, you miserable uh... piece of sh**. Are the Ringling Brothers going to come out in a minute and do some juggling? This is all day, every day. All right, Danny, I believe we have it on LoopNet. I'm going to bring that out real quick. So I, I remember seeing your, um, you had an email with uh, some of the laundromat you had, you guys running. How many are you guys operate at the moment? 36. Excellent. So good experience. That's what we're looking for. Let me bring up our listings. All right. So with 3,549 square feet you can use. Currently it's 275 per square foot plus triple net. Triple net is a dollar eighteen. So <laughs> two seventy five. What do you what's in that what, what's what's in four fit five. Who do you have in there other than the law? Is this this isn't free this isn't standalone? Remind me, who are the other suites? There's a very famous Korean restaurant. Very famous Korean restaurant, right. Yes, right. Very there. famous. And Yes, it is. It's been around probably 20-some years. Amazing. Any, any Korean, oh, yeah, that's the spot. And there's another restaurant at the corner. that I, I believe that's uh, Mexican food. 
mostly restaurants, but uh, that laundromat uh, previously, they do very good business. Raymond, you don't need to yeah. sell me, okay? I know what a laundromat can do. I know what it can earn, yeah. and now you're trying to sell me. We, a laundromat can't spend $4 a square foot. It's just, it's not reasonable. It's not commensurate for a laundry. Do you see what happens, Larry, when you a stranger in the act? Uh, you're, you're... So, what would you... That's no, okay, I don't have to finish. My fantastic, most amazing Korean restaurant on the planet Earth. Even even in Korea, you can't get food like that, right? They bring cabbage in and a recipe, and they make food, and they pay the wait staff next to nothing, and they make money. I need to spend four hundred thousand dollars on washers and dryers, and do that every seven years. Your previous tenant didn't make money; they lost money, or they'd still be there. They left. These are the facts. No, the, no. the landlord um, not, did not continue the lease because the landlord didn't like the operation. There wasn't nice, good new machines. That's why when the lease up, sorry, we're not going to renew it. They really wanted to stay. But... All right, Ray, I, I'm, you, you tell me to make an offer, so I'm going to write an offer at $20 a square foot per year, and it's going to be ignored, right? Well, twenty dollars, including triple net. You're talking about? I can't do anything about your ridiculously high triple nets. I can't change that. That's my triple net offer. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'll, I'll well, do my job. I'll let the landlord know. But all right, yeah, I'll email it to you. I don't like their operation. I don't like that guy. I don't like anything about it. And their their rent. That's uh, four dollars a square foot at 3,549 square feet. So your rent would be $11,000 plus, plus, plus. Why did the previous laundromat operator leave, Edgar? Well, he said it was because he didn't... I heard what he said, but that's not true. He's lying. He's wearing one hat. I'm a realtor. Then he grabbed... Oh, let me look it up on LoopNet. Then he grabs another hat. I'm a salesman. Oh, it's going to be a great moneymaker. Shut the fuck up. You can write this guy an LOI if you'd like to take the time and the energy. It's fine. But don't be losing sleep over the fact that you think you're going to get this place. No, yeah. Yeah, that is, that's not the vibe I'm getting. I will email you the LOI with instruction. Fill it out and I'll look at it tomorrow. Okay, sounds great. Goodbye. What a joke. I'm, you know, I I want people to use just a modicum of respect for other human beings. Even if you are some salesman selling newspapers and someone calls you, you know what, be nice. Hi, this is Bob. I'm selling the Saturday Evening Post. Bob, I wish you all the respect in the world, my friend, and I wish you luck. I hope you do well and you're able to to sell a lot of newspapers, but it won't be to me. Good day, sir. Wouldn't the world be a better place? I'm pretty sure this hot water heater's got a few more good years left in it.